for the or därför. Let us speak about these two words. Så so, for the means because and därför means therefore and that's pretty straightforward but let us look at how they work in sentences. Right? Monica vill jobba i Norge. Monica wants to work in Norway. Hun lærer norsk. Right? We have a reason and a consequence. So, if I want to connect these two sentences with for de, because, well, that's straightforward. Monica lærer norsk fordi hun vil jobbe i Norge. Monica is learning Norwegian because she wants to work in Norway. So, after for de, we do not have inversion. We have subject and verb or verbal construction. So, just remember that there is no inversion after for de. Okay? And then... If I start with the reason and want to continue with the consequence, you see what happens. Monica vill jobba i Norge. Punktum. Därför lärer hon norsk. And after därför we have inversion. So we have verb subject. Därför lärer hon norsk. So that's basically the difference between for de and därför. For de means because. Därför means therefore or that's why. And after därför we have inversion. After for de we don't have any inversion. And just another example. Han følte seg ensom. Han ble deprimert. He felt lonely. He got depressed. Han ble deprimert fordi han følte seg ensom. He got depressed because he felt lonely. Fordi han følte seg. There is no inversion. Han følte seg ensom. Därför ble han deprimert. And you see again, därför causes inversion. Verb subject. Ble han deprimert. Well, and that's it. That's it about for de and därför.